Welcome to Kawaguchiko, one of the four quadrants that covers the precepts of Mount Fuji. It's also a special place where there also has one of the five special lakes that surround the Mount Fuji area. Hello, my name is Marvin. Welcome to another episode of the Global Citizenship. If you haven't been to Kawaguchiko before, this is your chance to see Kawaguchiko from the camera front. But just like myself and Kat, we came here with pretty much an empty itinerary. So that gives us an opportunity to kind of look at Kawaguchiko from a fresh perspective rather than look at the trip advisor guides. Anyway, come and follow us. We hope you enjoy today's guide. We're taking a slight adventure to Kawaguchiko. Let's go! To a kimbini. This captain apparently is hungry as... Yes, I'm already hungry. I want to get onigiri and some pakari sweat. One of the most ingenious things that perhaps maybe the other 7-Elevens around the world could probably look at is to maybe consider putting the, the sports drinks in the freezer. It's quite obvious, but it's something that the other 7-Elevens, especially from Australia, haven't thought about. Good idea, Japan, good idea. So we are about to hire some bikes. We chose electric bikes because who wants to actually cycle in the summer heat? <laughs> so we've cheated. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Mount Fuji is somewhere over there. <laughs> Where's Mount Fuji at? Yeah. It should be in that direction though, mustn't it? It is very, very hot <laughs> and I'm sweating profusely as you can see. Same with Marvin. Yeah. I mean, whose original idea was it to sweat or rather to go biking? in like what 38 degrees celsius it's, it's not necessarily the, the heat that's killing us it's the humidity sorry <laughs> it's the humidity it's the humidity i'll <laughs> that out a bit. <laughs> so we bumped into these uh two people yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, hot as um, so we we haven't got like a like a prepared route in place. We're just gonna go, quickly go, just kind of go go around. The person in the bike center mentioned that the best route to go by in doing this is to go around uh, Lake Kawaguchiko and around Lake Cycle. <laughs> so um, we turn left into the cycling track. Good views, good views. One thing that amazes me about this ride is that it's quite spacious and mind you i'm holding a lumix camera on a tripod and yet the roads are smooth enough to the point where you can't see any bumps there's no fish and chips yeah. <gasps> look at this marvin so pretty people are just like it stinks the views here are amazing and kind of dangerous because i'm actually biking at the same time but look yeah. <laughs> okay guys, if you ever come down to Mount Fuji, you definitely have to come and eat at the Lavender Soft Serve Ice Cream Joint. Only 400 yen. Super amazing. This is Lavender Ice Cream. It tastes fantastic. Tastes fantastic. Oh, this is amazing. Blueberry. Mmm. Wow. This is the best ice cream I've ever had in my life. This is amazing. It's called Tatsuyaki Teppanyaki. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the top rated places in Kaw Kawaguchiko. Yep. So we're going to eat some really grubby, oily, cheesy, <laughs> sort of like Japanese fast food. Mm. So just a little note, when you arrive here, you have to climb at least is it a thousand steps? About 10 minutes worth of stairs to get up to the pergoda. So please make sure that you keep that in mind, particularly when it's a hot, yes. sizzling day like it is today. I agree, especially when it's hot. Especially when it's hot. Oh, and at your convenies, you can always buy frozen Aquarius or Picari sweats, which are basically electrolyte drinks to keep you hydrated. They're frozen and throughout the day they defreeze and you can have a nice drink as you walk up the steps and the hills up to the pergoda. 
As Caddy uh, mentioned a bit earlier, um, if you do plan to come here, during the summer and it's hot and you're ill prepared for the stairs before the station at Shimiyoshida um, there are coin lockers which you can take advantage of if you want to place the stuff there prior to the climb now um, at hindsight I should have done that I've got a whole suitcase worth of stuff Caddy was telling me before Marvin you should have taken you should have put all your stuff in mm. but well um, I guess people have to take <laughs> the consequences of the actions, right? All right, so keep that in mind. There are coin lockers at, at the station. Take advantage of it before you climb. Okay, so we're just chilling by the lake at the moment. Um, we're just waiting for the bus to arrive, but this pretty much ends our guide to the Lake Kawaguchiko area. Um, Kelly and I will give our recommendations in this area, but in terms of being here, the first thing I would definitely recommend for you to do is to get yourself an electric bike and make the effort to go around Lake Kawaguchiko and Lake Cycle. The reason being is because the awesome views that you get from biking around will give you an opportunity to not only meet with new people around the area, but can also give you the opportunity to stop and appreciate um, every facet of this fantastic prefecture. How about you, Kat? What are your, what are your recommendations? Uh, definitely stop by Oishi Park um, during your bike ride to try the delicious lavender and blueberry ice cream. Mm. And also just chillin' by Lake Kawaguchiko. It was amazing. Um, and eating some kombini store food. And lastly, the pergoda. We didn't get to see Mount Fuji because it was super cloudy again. Yeah, but yeah. the views from up there is amazing. So definitely come down and check it out. That leaves us right here at this like at this guide. Thank you very much for watching this episode of the Global Citizenship. If you if this is your first time watching this channel, uh, we do specifically cultural travel as well as just grand story guides for every specific area around the world. The Global Citizenship. We're sharing cultural journalism one story at a time. My home. My name is Marvin. This is Kelly. Hi. And we'll see you at the next episode. Bye.